If you go back in a lot of videos, I <clears throat> talk about my UFOs. So I had something like 13 UFOs, some of which went back coming up on 20 years because one of them is for my niece that is turning 20 in May. Um, in there, there is a project, um, I think I referred to it as Rainbow Hearts. <laughs> um, so anyway, it is a blanket for my cousin's rainbow baby. Um, so that is her second son. That's who I intended it for. She, she recently announced that she is pregnant with her third rainbow baby. So her four, fourth, um, I guess it would be fifth pregnancy, but fourth child. Uh, so... I had actually decided that I was going to frog it. I'm more than halfway done, but I really don't like the project because it's corner to corner, which corner to corner is not the the um, the bad part of it. It's all the color changes. But now that she has announced this pregnancy, I'm going to finish it rather than start another one. So I'm going to finish it and that is who it's going to go to. So I'm going to, um, actually I was going to say that I was going to pull it out of the box to show you, but I think I'll show you in the box because that's a lot easier and then I'll give some updates on it and um, tell you how long of dedicated work on it takes me to finish. So today is the 6th of February. It is maybe 1.30. Um, so I'm going to, I'll show you in box and then I'll put it on myself because I, I, I don't know, you can tell I, like, I'm sorry, I had, I do have clothes on, but I got my blankie over me because I crochet on my lap. <laughs> so, um, I'll lay it on my lap and I'll show you the progress that I've made. It's, I mean, it's baby blanket size. It's not that big. Um, and then I'll give you a progress update at the end of today. So I open up the box and what do I find? I had stuck, um, finished with the exception of weaving ends. A hat and I'm pretty sure this is a cow yes that's a cow and this is two by two yeah two by two um, I might drop down to one by one ribs next time to make it more you know snug Anyway, these are for the um, Christmas at Sea. That's what I had intended them for. Excuse me. <laughs> it's where I keep my laundry to go in the basement. Um, so, yeah. All right, so here's the actual project. That is what it's supposed to look like. And you can see, like, right there. Well, I hope you can see. Um... Right there is what I'm I'm up to. So what is that? One, two, three. I'm three into the decrease. So it it, it should be smooth sailing, you know. Um, after this, to to get it done. All right. Uh, next, you'll see it on my lap. Okay. We have to remember I have short arms, so I don't quite know if I'm getting everything in the shot or not. Uh, but here is what we're working with. Um, can you see it there? Yeah, okay. So, purple, right at the bottom. There are hearts. 
and you can see we already hit the corner so we're on decreases there is my pattern I made this pattern by myself I need to check in the box to see if there's a pen to mark things off. And then I also need to <laughs> uh, remind myself of how to do th this stitch. Um, maybe I'll link the video that tells me how to do it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to take a guess. So I'm going to take a guess at how long it's going to take me to do this. And my guess is if I really push through, I will have this done by... Friday. Um, and then I'm considering uh, the almost 20 year old niece. I had started a cross stitch, a baby steps cross stitch that's also in that same video that I was talking about. And focus. I'm considering also doing that if I get this done. Um, if this takes me longer, um, like I already know it's a pain in the butt, uh, but if, the, if this takes me a lot longer than I'm anticipating, then like this is going to be it. Like I, I don't want to torture myself to get these done, especially, especially considering that I had already decided that I was going to frog this. Um, so we'll see what I can get done and I will um, show you my progress uh, definitely at the end of the day, maybe throughout. Um, all right. Y'all, Missy isn't very happy with what we have to do today. I tried to push her off the chair and she said, nope, I'm sticking with you anyway. <laughs> um, so now I have a little bit less working space. I actually think she might get up when I actually start um, the crochet. Right now I'm just looking up, looking up videos to show me how to do it. All right, guys, it is 9.45 and I am done for today. I got a decent amount done. Cat's about to jump up. Um, but like it's it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Don't really enjoy this project, but I'm gonna finish it. So I'm gonna show you my progress. Um, itching my arm and shaking the camera, sorry. Um, Let's show you on the paper the pattern first, and then I'll show you the actual blanket. All right, guys, to make this easy on myself, I put an X where I started. So I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows done. I'm counting across. I got seven rows done, um, you know, approximately, because I was halfway through. Uh, and I am quitting also halfway through. It's a little bit hard to see, but that is where I'm stopping, because uh, I need to tie on more green. So let's show you the blankie. I'm all done with the red. And I'm very close to being done with orange. 
check back in tomorrow. Y'all, you see I put another X in the green right there. I am on two and a half rows so far today. And when I tell you this thing is a pain in the ass, it's a pain in the ass. I am so overdoing this already, um, which is why it's been a UFO for so long. But I am committed, committed to getting it done. And you can see, you know, I'm making progress. It's slow because I have to stop and change. Um, often. The other thing is, I don't know if it's bad planning on my part or what, but the the white ones, um, I keep like merging them and then having to cut off um, and then add it back like other places. So there we go. That's our process. And before you think I'm horrible, that's kitty cat food, because I think Minnie um, needs my protection when she eats. So giving her a plate close to where I am kind of gets her out of irritating me. There's Missy. Um, kind of gets her out of irritating me during the day. Or even at night, because I started doing this at night, too. Anyway, so I will check back in a little bit later. Those two and a half rows are maybe two hours worth of work. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how much I can finish before we go to bed. All right, y'all, it is just about noon on Tuesday the 8th. Uh, can't quite remember what I said in the last uh, clip, but I know I did this part, and I'm actually starting at the beginning of a row right there. So yesterday, um, I didn't do anything after the last clip. Um, I do remember that. So I did ooh, three and a half rows. Uh, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to put an hour in on the lunch break on the blanket, and we'll see how far I get. Hey guys, it is uh, the same day. I think it's the 6th or the 7th, um, and it is 8.45, and I sat down maybe two hours ago to start working on the blanket again. And uh, somebody decided, yes, we're talking about you. Oh, somebody decided they had other plans for me, so big yawn. Oh, I was about to say I'm not doing any, but apparently all I have to do is uh, talk about the cat. And she'll get up. Um, yeah, she kind of derailed me. Uh, now that she's up, focus, I have to decide whether I'm going to do anything on the, uh, the blanket tonight. Uh, honestly, I think the answer is going to be no. So we'll see what happens in the next clip. All right, guys, it is just about 6.30 on February 9th. I think it was late yesterday. Uh, last time I checked in and the, the cat was on me and I was trying to decide whether I was going to do any work that night or not. And the answer was no, I didn't. <laughs> um, so, like I said, it's about 6.30. I'm about to start. And right there is where I am starting. I'm saying I'm still on track to get this done in five days. 
um, today, today's Wednesday. So I have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I, I have three more days. And I think we started right about there. Um, was it there? Yeah, it, it was there because I was only three in. Um, so I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve if I didn't uh, miss any. Um, I've done twelve rows. And we have... Can I do math? I don't have to do math because I have numbers on this side. Um, so I have... Twenty-seven rows left, but they're, you know, they're decreasing, so shouldn't be all that much problem. <laughs> and I say that uh, while the wall still hating working on this project, but, you know, got to get it done since I have now, at least in my head, recommitted to doing this. All right, check back in with you probably at the end of the night. Okay, y'all, I actually lied. That is where I started at lunch yesterday. And I actually got, you know, when I pulled the project out, I figured out that I got all the way down. Um, I'm sorry. I got all the way down. And then I had started coming back up. Um, so... I hadn't marked that I was coming back up, but I had already gotten all the way through the yellow. So I just did one white stitch and then five green stitches. So like I'm on my way up. I actually need to put a um, an X down there because that's, that's where <laughs> I started today. All right, check back in later. All right, y'all, it is 8.51. I ended right there, so that means I did one, two, three, four, five. Did just about five rows today. Uh, did I say what time it is? It is eight fifty. Um, <laughs> can kind of show you the progress. I am. I'm. I'm getting there, like slowly but surely. Um, I finished yellow today, so no more yellow. Um, tomorrow, I'm sure I'm going to finish the green. Uh, with any luck, blue. Um, but honestly, with any real luck, luck, dedication, whatever you want to call it, effort, the actual, you know, this part of the blanket will be done, which means... All I ha will have left is to weave my ends. Because I don't think I've done that at all. Or maybe I have. Hasn't been since the beginning, I can tell you that. Because like this section <laughs> looks like it's the only thing that doesn't have any. Um, so yeah, with any luck, tomorrow we'll be done with this part. And I will be moving on to weaving and putting a border on this. Um, like I have one row of white around everything, but you know, design flaw. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I designed the pattern, like literally I made this on Excel right down to the numbers and everything. Um, so yeah, design flaw that I didn't put more white around everything. Don't quite know what I was thinking. Um, also, this is... I mean, it, it's, it's baby blanket size, but I tend to make my baby blankets a little bit bigger than this, so maybe I... Maybe I planned a border all along. I don't know. Anyway, um, see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Carrie. Um, it is 
February 10th, just about noon, and I'm going to do some lunchtime knitting. And I am starting off here. <laughs> um, we'll see how far I get. Like it, it, we're rapidly shrinking at this point. So, um, you know, I'm going to spend my lunch hour doing this, and I'm thinking I will probably get five rows in. That's what I'm hoping for. Off screen, I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check back in at the end of an hour. All right, guys, I got a little carried away. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that I had a conference call that it's more like a, a webinar where I could just listen in. So I did indeed spend a bit more than an hour or actually coming up on two hours worth of work. Um, on the right hand side, I don't know if you can see the number 12, that is where we currently are. Um, I intend on picking this up after work. Um, and I'm pretty sure, you know, if I work on it tonight that I'm going to get it finished, which is super exciting, uh, super duper exciting. Um, it's in the container right now, so you can't see, but... Um, we're making progress. Guys, I am so excited. It's finally done. Top corner is where I ended. That is fantastic. All right, so plan for the rest of this evening is I am ignoring all of these. And I, since I have this much... I mean, I've got plenty more, plenty more white. Um, but I, since I have this attached, I'm just going to start going around the edge. I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to do a double crochet. Guys, it is February 13th. Oh, sorry, you're about to see a cat butt. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Missy. <sighs> so it's February 13th. Uh, it is, there we go, we'll look at you. It is ooh, about 11.30 and I was pulling out my little kit um, rather than going into the craft room to get a needle. I thought I'd show you. You got fluff on you. This is the project bag. You can see kitty kitties. It's the project bag I keep in, in my um, my travel bag, um, so I always have a project with me. Um, it's got knitting needles in there right now, and I keep this little tin. Oh, I have hiccups, um, which is really messy. It's a leftover from my days of Chick-fil-A, which is hilarious because I actually had Chick-fil-A yesterday. But I used to have Chick-fil-A, I don't know, three times a week. I'm probably being modest. Uh, it's probably more than that. Um, anyway, I always got the kids meal um, because, you know, even that is a lot of food. Um, so... I thought this little container was actually fantastic. I've talked about it before when I was putting it together. Really messy with the tail. So I have I've always worked in healthcare so you'll see a lot of drug stuff. Um, I have this Celebrex uh, excuse you Really? So sorry I put stuff on your lap. It's a measuring tape. So I was having measuring tape with me. Am I making too much noise for you? Is that, is that a problem? This is a clover cutter. You can kind of see the blade inside it. 
And then there is... You're going to have to get up soon anyway, so... There's a yarn needle. And the eye is this way. Let's put it on Missy to see if we can focus. There we go. There's a yarn needle, and that's actually what I wanted. Um, it's... Like, it's a blunt tip. Blunt-ish tip. Like, I'm not really hurting myself by poking. Um... So anyway, this is what I'm going to weave everything in with. Um, like I said, it's Sunday, which means, uh, since I didn't film anything, <laughs> you will now know that I didn't do anything crafty uh, Friday or Saturday. Did I? Yeah, I didn't do anything Friday or Saturday, crafty-wise. Um, but I'm okay with that. Like, I, I think I told you guys, or I definitely thought it, but my hands were hurting because uh, I really pushed uh, to get it done on Thursday. You're putting your claws into my knee. Sorry. Um, you liking it? So, I will probably spend all of today on and off because, you know, <sighs> some people actually <laughs> like weaving their ends. I do not. So, and we, oh, you got the belly rubs. You show up. Mommy likes the belly rubs. You can fall off. Missy demands her attention, so I don't know if I'll get it all done at once or if we'll go in spurts because I will kick her off uh, of my lap. Uh, and then she'll get back on, so. Okay, we give you some more pets and then we start, okay? These kitty cats, they do purr, but not super loud or super long. Um, Maeve and Merlin, my two previous kitty kitties. Um, I don't think you guys knew about Merlin. He passed away in 2012. Um, I know you've met Maeve because I've, I've posted about her before. She passed away in 2019. Yeah, 29th, uh, February 2019, we're coming up. Uh, or we, we've just passed the anniversary. We're actually coming up on uh, Missy and Minnie's um, gotcha date, which is sometime in April of 2019. So you can tell. Missy has settled right in. She's my cuddle kitty. Minnie's still a work in progress, but we're getting there. All right, I'll pop back. Bleh, I will pop back in with some progress a little later. Hey guys, so it is two o'clock and I'm done. Look at that. Did take a half an hour for lunch. And I'm also completely full of shit because <laughs> when I say I'm done, I mean I'm done that side. So I still have that to do, but we're making progress. Just, I think I've repeated that multiple times during this um, video, but it's the truth. And I'm going to say by 4 o'clock, we're going to be really done. All right, y'all. wanted to show you. She is indeed demanding some attention. Oh. 
Oh, so I just have talked about you to make you get up? All right. It's almost 3.15, and this little quarter of the blanket is all I have left to put, um, or so, in the ends on. So, fingers crossed uh, that I'll get everything done by 4. I know you're probably saying, Carrie, that's really not much. You should be able to do that in 10 minutes, but, um, yeah. I have some tater tots next to me, and they're calling my name, so we'll see if it's done or not. All right, y'all, it is 321, and I am officially finished. Everything is woven in. Um, I still have those tater tots next to me, so I'm not going to open it up right now to show you. Um, oh God, those, it's green. It's looking really black right now. Um, so after I finish my afternoon snack, I will lay it out and show it to you. And yeah, we're done. All right, y'all. The project is officially done. I don't have a great spot to put it in. And of course, Missy thinks it's hers. Go on. Um, we're in a corner with uh, decent lighting, so it's done. I'm not going to completely turn it over, but you can see the other side is also done. So this is what's left in the box, and I am excited to put it back into the yarn stash. I will prop. This is the. Um, <clears throat> pattern. Probably trash the pattern, or the paper pattern. Actually, I will trash the paper pattern because I have marked it up and I can print it off uh, again from my Excel uh, if I want to. So pretty excited about that. I used a little project bag that I made <laughs> to capture all of the cutoffs because believe it or not, I do keep them I don't make a lot of amigurumi, but um, I partially use that to stuff it when I do. Alright, so I'm ending the video now. I finished the project uh, basically in the time frame that I had established for myself, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm trying to think of what project I want to do next. There's a couple UFOs. I'm, I'm going to be concentrating on UFOs because I want them done and out of the craft room. So I'm debating between the sea turtle blanket bag and the traveler scarves as my next as my next whip to concentrate on. So I will see you in the next video and we'll know what we're doing by then. Uh, so until then, peace out homies.